everybody. I am in Orlando, Florida right now. This is a two-day flight attendant trip. So yesterday I flew from DFW to Phoenix and then Phoenix here to Orlando. And today is an easy day. We just have the one flight home from Orlando back to DFW. But yesterday was also a very interesting day for me because it was my first time flying since the mask mandate has been lifted. I just walked on the plane and walking through the terminal and everything, oh my gosh, it felt so weird not wearing wearing a mask. Now, what I will say on this topic, which is what we encourage on the airplane, and I'm going to encourage here on YouTube as well, is to just be respectful of others' decisions by all means. If you feel more comfortable wearing a mask on the plane, in public transportation, out in grocery stores, whatever it may be, if that makes you feel more comfortable, then by all means do that. Masks are now optional on air it is not mandatory to wear one and it is also not mandatory to not wear one so if you choose to wear one then that's great and if you also choose to not wear one then that's okay too I just need to finish getting ready for work but I did go out and buy some new lipsticks the other day this is from rare beauty ah all right this is like a really pretty pink color <laughs> normally flight attendants wear the classic bright red lipstick so if I get a trip tomorrow then maybe I'll wear that but I do like this pink it's very cute but anyways I am running late so I gotta go and I'll talk to y'all later Just walked on the plane and checked all of my emergency equipment. I just need to throw my hair up in a ponytail, set up my galley, and then we will be ready to go. Good morning, everybody. So yesterday I did get called for a reserve trip, but it was super easy. It was just a turn. We flew from DFW to Fort Lauderdale and then Fort Lauderdale right back to Dallas. Now it's the weekend and I have two days off before I go back on reserve. There is no better way to start our weekend than some packages for Eric and I. So these Vessies that I got a few months ago have seriously become my favorite everyday sneaker. Vessies are 100% waterproof. You can wear them in the rain, the slush, the snow, the mud. And I really put these Vessies specifically to the test last month when I went to Salt Lake City, Utah to visit my sister and we were walking around in the snow and in the mud. My feet stayed completely dry. Vessies are made from Dymatex, which is a dual climate knit material that keeps you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Vessies are comfortable, lightweight, and breathable, which is why they have become my new favorite travel shoe as well as just everyday sneaker. Vessies are sustainably made, which means there is less material waste during the knitting process, less water waste, and no animal byproducts, so they are 100% vegan. I am so excited to wear these Vessies all day today. Vessie is really hooking all of my subscribers up. I have not one, but two really exciting things to share. So the first one is if you go to the link in my description box below and use my code JettingJulia, you will get $25 off adult sneakers. And the second really awesome thing is Vessie is doing a giveaway with all of you. So all you have to do is like this video and leave me a comment telling me what types of summer activities you would like to do in your new waterproof. Vessies. Thank you so much to Vessie for continuing to support me and my channel, for partnering up with me with this giveaway, and for sponsoring this video. You make me nervous. I think I might be hooked on you. I love the things you said, you said to me, to me, it seems like you like me too. taking Luna on a little walk and she <laughs> got caught in her leash. Little wild girl. It's honestly a bit cloudy and windy out today. I have a feeling it's gonna rain within the next few days and I really wanted to get my car washed so I'm glad that I didn't get it washed yesterday because I was going to. Eric and I went and grabbed some Chick-fil-A for lunch. Luna, this is not for you. Good morning, everybody. So today is Sunday and it is my last day off before I go back on reserve tomorrow. So Eric and I are about to go work out and then, yeah, I'm probably just gonna get ready to go back on call. Luna is definitely feeling this lazy girl Sunday though. 
another big goal for us today too is to clean up. I can't believe I'm showing you all this, but this is real life sometimes, you know? We have messes and we are all human and you know, it's okay. Sometimes life gets busy and you have stuff to clean up and dishes to do and this is just real life can't always have a perfectly clean and polished house so if you are also feeling very overwhelmed at the moment like I am just take a deep breath with me know that you're doing your best it's going to be okay I'm just ready to have a productive day today I want to go work out clean meal prep and get ready to go back to work <laughs> is getting the zoomies because we haven't had as much time to play frisbee today since it's been raining outside. Are you hyper? <laughs> yeah, someone's really playful before bedtime. Eric and I got in a great workout together and then we just spent the rest of our day relaxing, cleaning, organizing, and watching Netflix. So a pretty typical Sunday, but man, I swear, Sundays go by so fast. I feel like you wake up, blink, and then the day's over. I don't know why, but Sundays always just feel like they go by way too quickly. But anyways, I am finishing packing right now. I have these packing cubes. Luna, you don't gotta be scared of them. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so crew scheduling did give me an assignment for tomorrow. Like I told you all earlier, I am on reserve. So what they gave me tomorrow is airport standby from 6 01 a.m. to 12.01 p.m. So basically what that means is I just go to the airport and I sit there and wait for my shift, which is six hours, and to see if I get called for a trip. Now, usually when I'm on airport standby, these trips are very, very last minute. Like they'll call me and they'll say, you got 15 minutes or sometimes even less to be to the gate to work a flight. And this is usually to cover really last minute things. For example, if a flight attendant were to accidentally get a flat tire on the way to the airport or get sick on their flight into DFW and they can't continue their trip. Or for example, if a crew were to time out, meaning they've reached their maximum duty limit for the day and they need a replacement crew, they would usually call in airport standbys. So that is what I am doing tomorrow morning. Now, airport standby is interesting because you have no idea where you're going. You can go anywhere. So you have to pack for everything. So in here, I have sweatpants, a sweater, a sundress, shorts, leggings and two tank tops yeah and then in here i just have like bra underwear 
um, bathing suits, like, you know, because you never know. Like, you could go anywhere on airport standby. I have been called for some amazing trips before. I have gotten Hawaii. I have gotten Santiago, Chile. I have gotten Narita, Japan, and London. Like, those are some of the most amazing trips that I've ever gotten off of airport standby. Now, this is, you know, four years of flying and those are like the best trips that I've ever gotten. It's obviously not very often that you get trips like that, but who knows, every once in a while you get them and maybe I'll get a really fun one tomorrow. But I do have videos from my trips to Honolulu, Hawaii and Santiago, Chile. And granted those were pre-pandemic, so this was about two years ago. So I will warn you all that the editing is not the best. <laughs> I'm kind of awkward, but anyways, they're still really like cute and fun videos. So if you wanted to watch those, I'll go ahead and put them in the description box below. So now that I am pretty much all packed up. I'm going to grab my iPad because I want to read a little bit before bed. This is the book that I'm currently reading. It's called A Court of Mist and Fury. It's part two to the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I won't say much about it other than that it's fantasy, which is normally not the genre that I read, but I am loving this series. I find it really hard to put down. And this book is so different than the first one. Like it definitely ties in very well, but I just feel like the storyline is still so complex and different and just really really fun to read so I highly suggest it if you're into the fantasy genre so I think I'm going to just read for a little bit and then wind down start getting ready for bed because I have to wake up super early I'm probably gonna wake up around four yeah I'm gonna guess four because if my sign ins at six then I definitely need to leave here by five at the latest which means I need to get up at four so yep I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you all tomorrow morning Good morning, everybody. It is currently 4.36 a.m. I just finished doing my makeup and there was a thunderstorm last night that pretty much lasted the whole night, but oh my gosh, there was one thunder that was so, so loud. I mean, the lightning must have struck really close to us because this was the loudest thunder I have ever heard in my life. It woke both me Eric and Luna up from our sleep and it honestly scared me. Eric said it wasn't like the biggest thunder that he had ever heard before, but it was for me. Like I don't think I have ever heard anything louder. It was scary. But anyways, as soon as I get my uniform on and probably get some coffee and food ready to go, I will be out the door. But oh my gosh, you guys, Eric did the sweetest thing last night. So I told him that I was too tired to meal prep for work today. And then he just started making me food. It was just was so nice and I just feel so blessed and lucky. But yeah, so make sure that you all stay tuned for the next vlog to find out if I go anywhere on my airport standby shift and where that would be. Also, don't forget to click that link in my description box below and use my code Jen and Julia so you can get $25 off adult sneakers with Vessi. And leave me a comment about summer activities that you want to do in your waterproof Vessies to enter the giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time. Bye!